Hey, this is Gary from 3Bug Media, and today we're going to talk about email marketing and creating an email lead nurturing sequence for people who sign up for your email list. So when somebody is interested enough to give you their email and sign up, whether you gave them, gave something away or you gave out a coupon or something like that, they're interested in your business and what you have to say, but they're not ready to buy it. So a lead nurturing sequence like this will hopefully move them along the path from becoming, you know, interesting prospect to a paying customer. Okay. So today we're going to talk about kind of some best practices for creating a lead nurturing sequence. And I'm going to give you an example of what that would look like. Every business is different, but I'll give you some ideas and some examples so you can go out and create your own. Okay. So when you're creating a lead nurturing sequence, one of the most important things is you don't want to just start selling to them. Okay, that's the quickest way to get them to unsubscribe or to mark you as spam. If you just start pounding them with offer after offer and just buy, 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 doesn't work. People will get turned off really quick. Just like we, we call it lead nurturing, you wanna nurture them. You want them to get to know you, you want them to get comfortable, you want them to get familiar with your business, okay? And hopefully move them along the path of becoming a paying customer for your business, okay? So some of the kinds of emails that you would send out with an email, sequence like this would be you know first off you're going to send them a welcome email and a welcome email you know is going to thank them set expectations maybe give some instructions you know hopefully try to get some initial engagement okay uh you're also going to educate them so you're going to do how to you know maybe some how to's how to tips videos blogs you know maybe links to your blog posts uh, general tips about your industry things like that you also want to inform them maybe you know let them know about new products and services that you're offering new features that you've added things like that because somebody may have signed up for you know interest in product a but they didn't know you had product b c and d on there so you want to let them know all the things that you can do maybe one of, one of those will pique their interest you also want to create some offers so some discounts contests promotions you know coupons things like that because you know, of course, eventually you want to get them to take some kind of action and hopefully buy something from you. And you also want to personalize, you know, you want to humanize your business. Okay. So behind the scenes, you know, pictures from behind the scenes or videos behind the scenes, you know, maybe highlighting team members, engaging with them on social media, letting them know what you're doing on social media, things like that, trying to personalize your business and your brand in their eyes. So to become more comfortable with you. Okay, a uh, couple tips. One clear CTA call to action per email. So you don't want to do a traditional newsletter type send where you have a dozen different things you're talking about. They don't work. People don't have time to read those anymore. You want to send nice, clear messaging, you know, one topic, two topics top, and one clear call to action for them to click on. Whether that's read the blog post, get a coupon, check out this new service, something like that. Make it very simple, very clear. Uh, depending on your business, you may use plain text emails or you may use visuals. If you're doing e-commerce, you're probably gonna get more, use more visual type of stuff. If you're in a service industry, maybe if you're doing like financial services, real estate, Things like that, plain text emails work great because if you can use the F name feature in the merge tags, where you know somebody, if you can get their first name, that's great because then you can use a F name merge tag feature in the emails, where it'll automatically pull in their name. So it really looks like a personalized email, like you, you're sending it to them one on one, and you'd be surprised. Most people think you're actually sending them an actual email, so those work great and it helps to personalize their communications and the relationship. Uh, you also want to get people to engage with your emails, kind of like I was talking about uh, with, the, with the welcome email. Now, email marketing is very complicated, so it's very easy to end up in a spam folder or junk folder, end up in promotional tab section, not end up in the main inbox. So your goal is to try to get into that main inbox so they can read all of your emails. Okay, a uh, tip with that is if you can get people to engage with your emails, your deliverability rates into the main inbox will increase dramatically for future emails. So I'll give you a tip uh, like I do. When somebody signs up, we're a marketing company, somebody signs up, we send them a welcome email. Thank you very much, thanks so much you know, for signing up. This is what you're gonna get. Kind of give them some expectations and we try to end it with a question. And for us, we ask them, what challenges are you going through right now? 
you know, let us know. We're always ta talking about different topics or maybe I can point you in the right direction or, or give you some advice. So if you just hit reply to this email and let me know, then I'm happy to give you, you know, point you in the right direction or give you some tips, things like that. And what happens with that is when they reply back to your email, their ISP, their internet service provider, understands that, okay, this they know this person. They like this person because they're corresponding back and forth now. And you kind of no longer become the you know generic promotional email and future emails, you're much more likely to end up in the main inbox. So that's just a little tip. If you can get people engaged right off the bat, whether by you know replying to your email or clicking on a link or something like that, it'll help with your engagement rates and your deliverability for future emails okay so i'm going to show you an example of an email sequence of what you would do okay every business is different so how many emails you send what kind of emails you send and how often you send them are going to be up to you for me personally if somebody signs up for you know uh currently right now we're offering a free local seo checklist on the website so if they sign up they get, I believe it's about 11 to 13 emails they're going to get, and we deliver them every two to three days. They'll get one. So it lasts about three weeks, the email sequence that we do. Uh, so it's really going to be up to how you want to set it up. But the main thing is do not hit them right off the bat with buy, buy, buy offers. Like buy this, buy that. Doesn't work. People are going to get turned off. You want to nurture them. You want to educate them first. Okay. So Right off the bat, we'll send a welcome email. We usually send that a few minutes after they sign up. And like I said, we ask them, you know, let them know what's gonna happen, how what, what we're gonna be sending later on, uh, and how often we're gonna send our emails. And like I said, we ask them a question about what kind of challenges they're going through. Hopefully they respond back. And if they do, I always answer those emails and it helps with engagement rates for the rest of the emails here. Uh, e is for education. You want to start educating them, giving them as much value as you can up front because you want to train them to start opening your emails. You want, you want to deliver as much value as you can right off the bat to train them to start looking out for your email so they can learn more about whatever they're interested in. Okay, uh, here we might send frequently asked questions, uh, examples of how to use the product or service that you sell, some use cases. Uh, same thing, I'll send another, you know, might send another one where you're talking about case studies, uh, data, research, statistics, things like that uh, to keep them interested and then maybe hit them up with an offer. Maybe you have a discount, a coupon, or you know, uh, this week we have a special going on, something like that. Uh, obviously, that's the purpose of this, try to get them to buy so you can throw one out there uh, and see what happens. And same thing, you're gonna start educating again. So you're gonna send them some tips. So for us, we send out marketing tips uh, to people on our email list. Uh, same thing, I is inform, so let them know about other products and services that you offer. They may have signed up for something, but now they may be more interested in one of the other services that you offer, so let them know what, what else you offer on there. Uh, P, personalize, so like I said, the more you can personalize your business with them, uh, why we do this, maybe tell them a little story about how we got started, things like that. Uh, maybe highlight some team members or show some things behind the scenes. This is how we do our work. This is how we do our research. And this is how we you know, provide great customer service for our customers. Uh, sprinkle in another offer, maybe another coupon, uh, you know, 24 hour sales, something like that. And then go back to education and some how to's and things like that. So you kind of get the idea here. You want to welcome them. You want to educate them. And in between educating and engaging them, you want to sprinkle in some offers, change up your offers, and then, you know, see which one, you know, works best for this email list. Okay. So this sequence here is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Sprinkle them out every two, three days. You got about three weeks worth of content. Now, what typically happens after this, this will be specific to the email list the, that person signed up for. So you're not gonna send this, email, you're not gonna send this lead nurturing list to everyone. You, what you wanna do is you wanna use it tactically. So say if you're a financial planner and you offered a guide for saving for college on your website, you know, people download it, they give you their email address, and then they automatically get the sequence every two, three days. Okay, so what you're gonna do is all your education and your offers and things like that 
are all going to be related to saving for college or university. Okay. Because that's why people signed up for this list. They signed up for that guide. They're obviously interested and that's where you're going to start educating them and nurturing them and your calls to action in that case are probably going to be schedule, you know, schedule a phone call or schedule a meeting to learn more and see how we can help you on that. Okay. And typically, like I said, this will last about three weeks. This one, if you send, send it every couple of days, then once they're done, if nothing happens with it, then what you might do, you're not going to do this indefinitely. Then maybe what you do is then you move them over to your main email list and your main email list. Then you may send out general information, you know, once a week or every other week or something like that, but you want to give it your best shot. If somebody signs up for something specific on your site, like I said, financial planner, saving for college, you want to make this whole lead nurturing sequence about saving for college. And this is your best bet to engage them, pique their interest, and hopefully get them to respond to one of your offers and get a conversion out of that person. Okay. So that's how you create a lead nurturing email sequence. Okay, like I said, they're all different. It really depends on you, how comfortable you are, and what industry you're in. Okay, so if you have any questions, you can contact us at 3BugMedia. And that's it. So good luck creating your lead nurturing program. Thanks. Have a good day.